we cover the West, time for the East. Top seed of Raptors kicking off Eastern Conference playoffs matchup against the Wizards. We'll also have some Heat Sixers tonight. Tomorrow, Bucks Celtics get the day started. LeBron will look to make it 22 straight wins in the first round when the Cavs face the Pacers on ABC. Paul, East first round upset is when your Wizards beat the Raptors three years ago. I mean, I, I really didn't consider this an upset. For one, you know, they had we had John Bradley. I was a veteran leader on that ball club, and that's the only thing that was. Is that when you call game? Oh, I call game a lot of times. So, uh, <laughs> that was one. Of, that was one of them. <laughs> that was one of them, though. But you know, uh, this is a different Raptors team. I understand, and the thing that the Wizards were missing was a veteran presence, like myself. Now, John and Bradley have grown into that vet, those veterans now, and they're ready to take the next step. This may be the best eighth seed we've seen in a long time. You got like good enough for the upset. Yeah, they're good enough for the All-Star. They, they, they have two All-Stars on their team. You know, how many eight seeds carry two All-Stars? And so they have enough. They have depth with uh, Martian Gortat, Otto Porter. He's a great addition. And, and John Wall is back healthy, right in time. You know, if John Wall had been healthy all year long, this probably wouldn't have been an eight seed team. Paul, well, I mean, I feel, people me, argue that. Yeah, to me, I, you can't be good if you're eight seed, Paul. Correct. And, and, oh, and also, I want to get back to something. I appreciate your humility, but what made it an upset is because in the four or five series, one team shouldn't get swept. Exactly. Yes. And so this is the same collection of individuals leading the Raptors team. As you mentioned, they still have DeMar and they still have Kyle Lowry, right. who has to show that he can duplicate postseason success of, from what he's accomplished in the regular season. So that's what I'm interested to see. For me, I, I wouldn't say that it's a likely upset yeah. to me in the East, but I think I'm going with the Heat, guys. Really? I, think, with the I think I'm going with the Heat. Over the Sixers. Over the hot Sixers, yes. Who are you anymore, <laughs> well, well, Sorry, I've been doing a little studying like, over the last couple of days. They uh -huh. split the season series. I think they got, well, I know that they have more experience. Yeah. They got championship pedigree. I just think that if they're too evenly, if they split the season series, if it comes down to a, a seven game, a seventh game, right. I gotta go there's, to there's no there's no way to go to lose this series. They have top to bottom more talent. Well, that's why we call it an upset, yeah. Paul Pierce. No, that that that's, <laughs> that 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 won't, that won't that won't happen. I, I don't see a likely upset, but when I look at the brackets and I hear a lot of conversation, it seems that the people think that the Bucks are gonna beat the Celtics. I don't think that's you gonna don't. happen. Absolutely, I do not think that's gonna happen. But I do f think Philly gonna face some turbulence, and it's gonna happen today. What's going to happen is I predict the Miami Heat are actually going to win game one. I think Philly's going to win the series. And then you welcome Joel Embiid back. Which is another adjustment. Absolutely. Got to make. No They're question about us. it. Fair and then that's their adversity to me that now helps carry Philly to the conference finals, which I think we have, yet, make we it have yet to see. I need, <laughs> <laughs> I, I need a, thanks, thanks, guys. Um, I need a guy who's under the most pressure out of the East. Hmm, let me see. LeBron James. There's only one guy. It's only, it's it's only one. Y'all taking a low hanging no, fruit, guys. Here, here's why, Chauncey. Whoever makes it to the conference finals to play against the Cavs is going to celebrate their season. The Raptors going to exercise their demons, and we were the number one seed. We could take pride in that. The Sixers or the Heat, they made it to the conference finals. That would be a victory. Same with the Celtics playing with an injury play team. So that's why it has to be LeBron. Yeah, he's the only player, if he doesn't make it to the finals, we're going to talk about this. He's had his reign over the East for the last eight years. We expect him with the way the playoff teams, you look at the Celtics, they're hurt. You look at the, the Heat, you look at the Sixers, they don't have enough experience. So, I mean, it's got to be LeBron James. Guys, it guys. has to be. Ch There's no Ch one else Ch in Ch the Ch East minds, that you will even put no, in that right. category. Paul Pierce, Jalen Rose. You're right. You're right. I However, you're going, but you're wrong. that's low hanging I, see, well, I think fruit. I know where you're going. And I'm going to go a little deeper. I think the pressure is on Kyle Lowry. I knew you was going there. He's, the, he's, the, he's an all-star time and time again. Huh? This is the best team in the Eastern Conference. He hasn't been a big-time playoff performer. Ooh. Therefore, there's some pressure on him to, to get it done. To get it done. I, I don't, and, and to, I, I don't think, the deal. I don't think us as national media are going to say if Kyle Lowry doesn't say they lose in the first round, it's not going to be a big story. Like, but, a, a, as if when James, if they lose first round or he doesn't make it to the finals, that's If Toronto story. loses in the first round after wire that's, to wire being the number one best team in the East, that's a big story. No. And if Kyle and, doesn't play well, that's a big deal. They just I, got his guy, just got 30 million a year. But, but that, it's that, a big deal. That to me is why I don't believe he's under the most pressure because 
He played bad in last year's playoffs and still got his money. Yeah. If if he didn't get paid and then he played like that this year, I would I would ride with you on that. But y'all, I mean, y'all taking a low hanging fruit. I feel like you guys James. forgot though. Also the the heat. And granted, I understand that LeBron lives with a spotlight on him 24-7, but the amount of speculation and doubt over Kyle Lowry come playoff time is pretty significant. I don't think that it's absurd that we think, hmm, Kyle Lowry might be feeling a I, bunch. I, I ain't mad at what you said, but let me put something else in the equation. Say LeBron James' team loses in the conference semifinals. First thing we're going to say is, is he leaving Cleveland? He's also a free sure. agent. Sure. Kyle Lowry's going to be back with the team, and with his contract, it's going to be very hard to move him. Sure. And, and like I said, y'all, you guys are right. I mean, LeBron, is the most pressure for sure is on LeBron, but, I mean, I think Kyle. One eight. And I think, I think Kyle's going to And he's going to ball today. And I got a small wager with this young man over here today. <laughs> because today. the Toronto Raptors will break the cycle and Toronto win game Raptors one. Oh, will go on okay, we'll get, we'll get to that. In game one. We got one. more.